Now another day of May great, but at least tomorrow is Friday, so yes. I guess it really doesn't matter, Danny, know, right? <laughs> for the weather. Yeah, because you know we can a lot of everything. people thought it was going to rain today. Yeah, and you know what? We are going to see another chance at some of that drizzle going into tomorrow, and ah. it's one of those things where it's very spotty, Pat. So not everybody's going to see it, but we are going to wake up. Some of us might need to use the windshield wipers. It's going to be another gray, cloudy day, but it's a Friday. We can do anything on a Friday, and it's a holiday weekend, so we have lots of clouds as we wake up tomorrow morning. It's going to be another one of those days where it's just really tough to clear. These clouds are going to be stubborn. We're cooler through Saturday, and then that warming trend starts on Sunday. I think you guys are going to like this. Let's jump right to our holiday weekend. So Saturday, we are going to be in the upper 60s, low 70s in L.A. and Orange County. This is still well below normal. We're going to start off with the gray, but we will get more sunshine in the afternoon. And then once we go into Sunday, this is actually supposed to say Sunday right here, we'll be in the low 70s. And then by the time we get to Monday for Memorial Day, we are going to be in the low 70s and we keep that climb going. So let's back things up and talk about the gray we've seen. I mean, look at all these gray boxes. This is our May gray calendar, and you can see the last 16 days in a row have been gray, but we have seen 20 days in May. So about 87% of our days in May so far, they have been gray, and we're going to keep adding to that, folks, going into our Friday and also our Saturday. We're going to start off with those pesky clouds again, but we're going to get a better shot at sunshine going into the later part of our weekend. So we're waking up to those clouds, 8 o'clock Friday morning, a chance for some drizzle as we wake up. And these clouds, they're surging into the Inland Empire, into areas like the Santa Clarita Valley, Ventura County. And Friday's going to be one of those days where they just want to hang on extra long. And this is going to be for L.A. County into Orange County. And then we do it again as we wake up Saturday morning, another day where we could see some drizzle, some light sprinkles out there to kick off the day. But take a look at what happens once we get to late morning, early afternoon. We're going to see a better shot at clearing. That means a better shot at some sunshine. So hallelujah for that. And you can see that right around noon. Unfortunately, Orange County, our beaches, we're going to see those clouds kind of hugging the coastline even Saturday. And once we get to Sunday morning, we see those clouds again. But things are going to look much better Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow, it's going to be a cooler day for us, very similar to today. We are talking 60s in the basin, 60s in Orange County, low 70s in the Inland Empire. And we're down to the mid-70s in the high deserts. We were in the mid-80s today in the high deserts. So next couple days uh, on the cool side, you guys, drizzle and fog first thing tomorrow morning. Saturday, better chance at sunshine. Warming trend. Hello, warming trend. It's here on Sunday, and we keep that climb going 75 on Tuesday, you guys. Finally seeing a day that's above average. Our average in L.A. is 74 this time of the year. Valleys flirting with the 70s tomorrow, feeling cooler than today. 76 back Sunday, and boom, we get those 80s. Monday, Tuesday, going into our Wednesday in the Inland Empire. 70s for the rest of the week. 80s are back on Sunday. Mid to upper 80s by the time we get to Tuesday. Beaches, you hover in the mid-60s with the mountains back to the 70s by the time we get to Monday. So, Pat, just in time for our Remembrance Day, things are going to be looking really, really beautiful out there. Well, as it should be. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Danny. L.A., you can now catch CBS Mornings from 4 to 6. And if you didn't catch us then, we're back from 7 to 9. Four hours of CBS Mornings from 4 to 6 and 7 to 9. Everything your morning should be. Start your day with KCAL News Mornings, 4 to 11 a.m. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.